Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So this is Saishram Malayala, a final year undergraduate student at NIT Varangal. So you guys know that JE Main 2023 session 1 percentile is out. So in April you are going to have the second session and there also they are going to give you one more percentile. So based on the percentile you got in both the sessions, they will be picking the best out of two and based on that percentile, the best percentile, they are going to issue the rank and based on that rank you will be getting into NIDs, IIDs, GFTIs. If you give your JE advanced well, then you will be getting into IITs, right? This process though, most of you know it. But as of now, after the percentile which you have seen for session 1 2023 JE mains, what's next? Next, ENT. So that's what we are going to discuss in this particular video. So I'm going to talk about whether you have to focus on JE advanced or whether you have to focus on second attempt. So based on my approximation, based on my strategies and my views, I'll be presenting you that data to you. So after watching this video, let me know in the comment section what you are going to do or in what exam you're going to focus. Chalo. Without taking much time, let's get into the video. I think most of you who are watching this video is focusing on JE mains second attempt, right? So which is going to happen in April. So you almost have uh, another two odd months. So in these two months, you can improve your score by a lot of margin. And if you want to see that difference, a huge difference. So I have something from you, uh, which is like careers 360 JE main rank booster. So you can like learn most asked concepts with unlimited mock tests and faculty support for the next two to three months. So you'll be having faculty support with unlimited mock tests and which will be focusing mostly on those topics which are regularly being asked in the JE mains exam. Usual price is uh, double nine double nine so that is 9999 but you're going to get it six triple nine if you use my code charan 10 charan 10 you're going to get another 10 percent discount on that particular six triple nine so what is the step one you can click the link in the description and uh, this page will open you, are, you can see je main official pattern mock test will be genuine official pattern mock test will be given to you unlimited mock test previous year solved papers will be there faculty support will be there and also you are going to get performance analysis so based after every test they will be checking bad i mean where you are doing wrong where you are doing right so that will help you to understand where what are your strong concepts what are your weak concepts so that you can improve your score every test by test so this is a very great platform to improve your score by a lot lot of huge margin next thing is once after opening the link you can just scroll down you can see this particular thing jm and rank booster at six triple nine you can click on buy now option under that and after clicking that you will be taken to this particular page where you have to fill your details and use code charan 10 charan 10 so you can see you will get 10 percent coupon code uh, applied successfully so that means you are going to get 10 percent discount and uh, you can buy that at six two double nine you can just proceed to pay and register there so what are you guys waiting for click the link in the description and use my code charan 10 avail the discount and also to improve your score by a huge margin for the next attempt of je mains 2023 so who all will qualify for je advance so that is what you have to know right in order to write je advance you have to first qualify je mains right so who will qualify for je advance 2023 as of first attempt so as of first attempt i'm saying so after second attempt best of the two percentages will be taken that you have have the clarity right so now these are last three years cutoffs uh, for the category wise who qualified for je advance from je mains so if you see 2022 general category student the cutoff was 88.412 general ews 63.11 uh, and uh, OBC NCL 67.009, SC 43.082, ST 26.77 and PWD is 0 0.0031. When it comes to 2021, it is 87.899 and General AWS 66.221 and OBC NCL 68.023, SC 46.882, ST 34.672, PWD 0 0.0096. And coming to 2020, general EWS is 70.243 and OBC NCL 72.888 and SC is 50.176, ST is 39.069, PWD is 0.0618. So keeping in view of these last three years cutoffs, let me just give you the worst case scenario for this year cutoffs. Let's take the top one. So that would be easy, right? Why to keep you in a uh, like uh, boundary situation, boundary case or that. So let's take the top, I mean the higher limits. So if you got somewhere around 92, then that means according to 2020 percentile, you're above that. So that's what I'm saying. Let's take the worst case situation. So when we compare last three years, so let's assume the 90.376 is the highest number for general. So that will be the highest. So that let's take that as the cutoff for this year also. So it can be lesser than that. It can be slightly above than that, not much above. So it can be very less compared to that, but not 
much above than that so that's what i feel so let's take 90.376 as the worst case scenario cut off for general so same like that for ews 70.243 so take the 2020 cut offs as 2023 approximate cut offs according to me so that's what i am suggesting according to 2020 cut offs you qualified now what next do i need to focus on second item or do i need to focus on je advance Okay, that we'll discuss. Let's see. So, just qualifying for JE Advance doesn't guarantee you a seat through JE Mens. For example, uh, I 90, 90 is the cutoff. I got 91 percentile. I'm a general candidate. So, this will not give, uh, like, according to my marks versus percentile versus video, according to this, I'll get somewhere around 90k rank in open CRL category. So, that doesn't guarantee me a seat in NIT or IIIT. Maybe I'll get lower GFTS but that would be in that case I can join the local colleges top local colleges that would be best best option so in this case I can't just rely on uh, JE mains whatever score I got I should focus more so that I can at least improve that score at least 97 98 something like that okay so it can be lesser than that so I'm just saying that so 91 is not sufficient for general candidate student so if 90 is the cutoff okay please keep that in the mind not only general candidate let it be a C, a ST, uh, OBC and CL, PWD or EWS or general candidate. Just qualifying you will not get a seat. You also should have more than that. Okay. So focus on second attempt and improve your score. So if you are just uh, qualifying according to these percentiles, just, just slightly above that, then you have to focus uh, on that. Okay. So who all should focus on second, second attempt? Who all should uh, like directly focus on advance? Of course, if you prepare well for advance, if you build your concept to that advanced level, you can surely easily solve JE mains. But only thing is the time management is what difference from JE advance and JE mains. If you can ace that easily, you will get good score in second attempt too. So now the thing is, let's see. So if you are aiming for top college or top branches, check if your percentile is above 98.5 or not, if you are a general candidate student. If it is above that, surely you can just start your preparation for advance. If it is below that, you have to again uh, try to improve that score to above 98.5. For example, I got 96. I got, I want only top college or top branches, anything, either top colleges, any branch, something like that or top branches. In that case, if you have, if I have 98, 96, I have to, if, uh, like I am aiming for that. In that case, I will focus on JE mains as well as, I, as I know, I qualified the 90 percentile according to 2020 cutoff. I will also focus on JE advance. Parallelly, I will prepare for both. So that's how I will do. Okay. So I'm giving you some ideas. Please uh, check that. Okay. Next thing is if you are general EWS. So if you want a top college or top branches, try to focus at least 98 above percentile. If you if below that, you can improve that. And OBC and 97 minimum, like minimum required above 97. If you have that, you may get into top college or top branches, uh, either top colleges or top branches. So that's how I am saying. If you want both, you, have, you should be in top college as well as top branch. In that case, 99.5 something around that should be your score. And SC 95, ST 93. So all the data given above are my approximations, guys. This is not the official data. Now, if you just want any seat, some more the other seat I want. Okay, that's what if your feeling is. In that case, general, if you are a general student, 97 percentile. General EWS, 96 percentile. OBC NCL, 95 percentile. SC, 90 percentile. ST, 85 percentile. So all these are like other state point of view. Home state quota will be totally different. So there you will be having advantage of 50 percent seats reserved for you. So please keep that thing in your mind so before you comment on this is wrong that and all okay i hope you understood what i mean to say here or uh, it's always better uh, to consider worst case situations so considering worst case situations in other state quota so these are the percentiles which you have to uh, keep as the safe scores in order to get into any seat or uh, top college or top branches so whoever is having above 99 98 according to this if you are above these then in that case you can start your preparation for je advance properly and also sometimes focus on je main second attempt too so that you can at least improve your score slightly a bit more so that even if you don't uh, qualify in je advance due to some case due to some situations or due to some reasons so you can at least get a good seat here through je mains so that's what my suggestion is so that's it for this video guys uh, if you find this as a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind